Yo, what's going on, boys? So, today's the day that I only spoke, uh, slept for like two hours or three hours or something. So, if I sound like a little bit tired or something, it's just because I'm tired. I'm not like <laughs> disheartened, demotivated, uh, or some shit. Today's topic is actually really interesting. It's really interesting. Um, this is going to be like an example or an instance of, of some of the things that I keep speaking about in my Beware of Life podcast that I keep trying to push every fucking Beware of Life. <laughs> Beware of school podcast, it will set you up for failure in life. This is a prime example of that thing. In this video, I'm going to take you through two of the most successful people that have graduated from my program of Mohawks Health, Wellness, and Fitness. Two of the most successful people and what they're doing and how they're doing it. And I'm going to compare them all, uh, to myself as well as everybody else in class. And this is going to be like a prime example of why school is rubbish and useless and you get nothing out of it and the game of life is completely different from textbooks and shit that you see uh, when you're trying to study and get good grades and shit. Alright, let's get into it. <clears throat> so, um, I'm actually going to give you the names and I actually worked with one of these guys when we were in school together. We were actually friends back, back in school. Um, this the, the guy's name is Emerson Brahmir. Uh, is I think his uh, Instagram is like Emmer Bra or some shit, and uh, he's jacked as fuck. He's an immense physique, uh, like huge. Like it's he's fucking huge. Like when you, if you see him in person, he's like a pretty big guy. Uh, of course, he's short because which bodybuilder isn't? <laughs> but like it makes him look really really good. Uh, and yeah, he he literally he loves bodybuilding. Like he loves bodybuilding. Like it's his it's his it's his passion. It's his. It's his life. Like, you can see it. You can feel it. Every time you're near him, he's just a straight up, he's a straight up meathead bodybuilder. That's that's who he is. And he loves it. And he's a very nice guy. Like, he's not a bad guy or anything. Like, he's a very nice guy. Um, so, that's one person. Uh, and I'm just kidding. So, I, I might have some pictures of him or something uh, in uh, an Instagram feed or something rolling. And the other one is actually uh, also, well, obviously. Yeah, the other one is, uh, her name is Veronica Fasulo or something. She was also in our program and she was also into competing and, and stuff and she had an amazing physique and like, again, when, I, when she came into class, like everybody's jaws like just fucking dropped open. <laughs> it was like, she had the most amazing physique. And uh, also, uh, oh yeah, so yeah, so that was her. And I'm, and I don't know, uh, like the last time I checked was like over a year ago or some shit, so back then she was like 30,000 followers or something uh, and uh, Emerson when he when we started off in school me and him both together I think at that point he was at a thousand to fifteen hundred followers or something as far as I can tell maybe two thousand max but a thousand to two thousand max at this point he's now an IFB pro he just recently won his uh, pro card like three months ago or six months ago or something and uh, and uh, yeah, now he's at like 10.5k followers or something and he works with Team HD, the same team that uh, Brandon Harding and such work with. So that's the same, that's the entire team uh, at the gym that I go to, right? That's the entire team is as Team HD. Uh, yeah, so he works with them, he's at like 10.5k followers or something at this point, right? Uh, now, the interesting things here are, uh, and then the Veronica, the Veronica Fasulo girl, uh, I think she had like 30,000 like last year, so she, I don't know what she might be at at this point. We'll try and find out through Instagram and stuff. These are the two most successful people that came out of a health and fitness from my batch, right? As far as I know, I don't know anybody else. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, everybody else. So yeah, let me actually tell you what the other guys are doing. The other people in this class. So I'm gonna feel a little bit cold right now, but yeah, the other people in this class are fucking working at Walmart before COVID hit, not after. Like I work in tech support at this point, right? I'm trying to get my immigration shit done. It's not a part of my uh, career or my fitness or my, my passion or something. And uh, prior to this, I was working with other fitness. And then as soon as COVID hit, like all that shit shut down. And like the whole world has been topsy for me and shit since then. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So people have been working Walmart jobs, Subway jobs, Pizza Hut, Pizza Pizza, all that fucking gas station. All kinds of rubbish jobs that we always keep getting. Like, I don't know why Indian immigrants come here and get the most rubbish trash fucking jobs servers and waitresses and blah 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 but it's, that's Indian right we're not even like talking Indians at this point other people aren't even working the other like the white kids here aren't even working they, they work like random stuff some of them are driving Uber some of them are driving uh, like I don't know they're working some other random shit nothing to do with my industry at all whatsoever once again the rest of them are uh, oh yeah some other ones 
They're fucking baking banana bread. Uh, I, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I have no idea what the hell they're doing. If some of them are baking banana bread, one or two other people are working like good life and they're getting jump change for the amount of time that they work in. I've actually mentioned this example before. Person wakes up at 6 a.m. in the morning, goes to sleep at 9 p.m. at night, makes like 500 bucks a week. And um, let's see, let's see. And the others are being pseudo intellectuals by trying to go to like masters and PhD programs and all that kind of shit, right? The only two people that are successful out of my program, besides myself, I would say, but like I'm also not even like a great success. But the only two people that uh, uh, that are a great fucking success in this fucking program dropped out of my program. The two people that have the highest return on investment on my program, the people that make the most amount of money, the people that have are out in the limelight and everybody in the fitness industry or more and more people in the fitness industry in the world actually know them. The people that have actually made this a full-time living and made it a full-time job can actually make money off of it. These people dropped out of school. Yeah, these people dropped out of school, right? And when they were in school, they were really bad students, both of them. They were really bad. Like I'm telling you, Emerson was like a legit straight up meathead. Like he did not understand anything. Like. Like the, 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 he, didn't, he didn't understand anything about like the human body or anatomy or physiology or physiology or anything. In fact, like I have pictures, I have a, I have like multiple videos of him, me coaching him back then when he was trying to go for his first show here. I don't, I forget which show that he was supposed to do here. So I sh- showed him how to like use how to like isolate to mid back and like how to isolate his rhomboids and like why uh, or how to like get the mind muscle connection going with your biceps and all that kind of stuff. He's in my bicep video, the mind muscle connection bicep video. He's in that one. Um, yeah, and, uh, like, yeah, and, and then he also, like, got into, like, he was a, just, he was not a good student, like, his studying is not his forte, right, and, uh, he also got into arguments with some of the professors and stuff, and, and, like, uh, and stuff, like, because I think they flunked him out of a couple of classes, and he was, like, I need to get through this fucking program, blah, 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 and what else, there was some, yeah, so that will happen, that happened, like, as far as I can tell, like, I'm just trying to, all I'm trying to go through is, like, the things I even remember, which I don't remember that much at this point. But, uh, oh yeah, oh my god. Yeah, before his first show, when he was doing his first show, um, I show, I've shown you this genetic fucking freak kid, right? But before he was doing his first show, uh, he was eating, like I was working with him. I was I was coaching him basically at that point. And uh, I told him uh, what kind of trainer to do, what training to do, what amount of, how much amount of gear to use. I bought his gear uses down from three grams to like less than 800 milligrams or something. He put in like 20, 22 pounds in like a, in his first month. Muscle memory, I'm not gonna say like I was like fresh muscle or some shit. Muscle memory and water retention obviously the first month, but like then he bumped up immediately after it by himself. And uh, oh yeah, my my discussions with him about like food, like eating proper food were basically, bro, uh, go to fucking Walmart. <laughs> bro, your meal prep is to not, like your, your nutrition advice is to drop the Doritos and nachos, and fucking nachos and dip, and fucking go to Walmart, they have like pre-prepared seasoned steak, grab that thing, cut it with a fucking knife, throw it into an air fryer that costs like a hundred bucks, that's your meal prep. If you just do that much and you'll be in like so much of a better position uh, than eating fucking nachos. And this guy was getting leaner and leaner and leaner and more and more shredded. Like, these, uh, he's a fucking outlier. Like, like, these guys are like genetic freaks. Uh, even the girl, like she's a, she's a freak too. Uh, and, uh, but anyways, like my, my, my point with this is like, so, these guys that knew nothing about kinesiology, nothing about anatomy, nothing about phys- human physiology, nothing about biomechanics, no, nothing about programming, nutrition, nothing, nothing, no, nothing. I don't know how Russell Peters says it, but they know nothing about anything. Are the people that have the physiques? They show off their physiques. The the girl's really smart. Like all of her pictures are like booty shots, ab shots, leg shots, uh, training, training, training. And, and obviously Emerson's really smart too. He makes himself look like a really good fitness model and such. Um, and they like the actual things in life that really matter, which are your uh, the image that you're giving out and marketing. These two are amazing at it. And here's the best part about both of them: they have insane work ethics. Both of them have absolutely mind-bogglingly insane work ethics. Now I don't know if their insane if their work ethics are better than mine or not. Because mine, mine are pretty fucking good too. Like mine are pretty goddamn good too. And the thing is, I distribute my work uh, because, like, again, I do game and I like to do bodybuilding and sex and I like to do my YouTube Instagram business and I like to do like mental health stuff. So like my shit's like all over the place. But they have 
insane work ethics. Like I see this girl in the gym and you see her and like it's like watching her will make your eyes bleed. Like the amount of effort that this girl puts into the gym. One machine to the other machine to the other machine. Like Aaron like doing these fucking glute squeezes and that like isolated glute squeeze and this and that. Like this oh my god, the amount of like mechanical tension that she puts on her fucking muscles is insane. I and I see her working hard as fuck, like every time that she's in the gym. And I see the ironically, I mean Iverson's in the gym too, and obviously I'm assuming he trains hard too. But I've actually never seen him like train hard. Like <laughs> I mean I'm not trying to like diss him or anything. I just I've seen this girl like train incredibly hard. Him, I'm sure he trains hard, but like you you, you don't you don't get muscle without training hard, but like but like I, I haven't been like it, it like it never my jaw never dropped the uh, hit the floor or some shit like uh, this, but why what this girl did which once again is like work ethic and people are like really rude and mean to her on her Instagram and like possibly even to him I actually don't even know but like really rude and mean to her on her Instagram and, and stuff uh, uh, and the comments and everything else and like she's just going she's just go she like does not let the fucking haters or some shit get to her and like she just keeps going she just because and these motherfuckers like keep trying to put her down and like all that kind of stuff and I make a lot of fun about girls doing all Instagram booty shots because like I like I do feel like where's the intelligence and that shit like there's no intelligence behind it right like I can't learn anything from your booty shot but I I understand the intelligence behind it in the sense like you got my eyeballs right like that's why I'm, I'm watching because I like your ass like I completely understand the marketing side of it so like brilliant in that in that aspect but um, and like these guys that are making fun of her and everything or, or girls they don't see the amount of effort that these two put inside the gym, which is what you can see out in public. And then you have no idea about the amount of effort that they put into their fucking food. Like, I always see both of them with their fucking meal prep containers. Every fucking time. I, I hate those meal prep containers. But every fucking time I see them uh, working or doing anything with their meal prep containers. People that were successful, that have been successful in this field, did not give a flying fuck about what the school had to teach them. They were bad students actually they, they were bad since they fucking dropped out of the both of them dropped out of school um they work hard on what is really important which is the number one thing is like their physique and, and stuff like that and then they work really hard on what it is that's really important in order to get more eyeballs and clients which is their image and their marketing and just to have like insane amounts of work ethic which like basically bodybuilding te- teach teaches you right this is the whole point of even intellectual muscles like that's why i start everybody's uh, life transformation off from their body transformation bro that's why I started off everybody's life transformation off from their body transformations is because it fucking getting a body transformation requires such insane amounts of work ethic that <laughs> carries you through for success to everything else and everybody else and these are the people that, are, that, that put themselves out there these are the guys that were outliers these are the people that even in class and stuff people were like pointing and la- pointing and laughing were like these were like the outliers you know what I mean like something like that uh, oh, he's so weird. He's such a weirdo. All he does is bodybuilding. Oh, she's so weird. All she does is this thing. Look at how muscular she is. Like, bye, 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 bye. All that kind of stuff. These are the two people that are actually successful in life. They're, ha- and I'm assuming they're pretty fucking happy in life. Like, I see Emerson in this gym. He's always happy. I see that girl with her boyfriend. Uh, tra- I also training at the gym and also training at, like, she has, like, three, four different gym memberships. She's also always happy. Like, <laughs> because, like, she's doing what she loves. Do, do what you fucking love. Stop giving a fuck about what other people think. All of this shit about school and all that kind of stuff is like complete nonsense. You don't need to be doing any of this stuff in order to make money. Just be happy in here. Be happy in here. And just learn what, what proper value is and uh, how to provide proper value to the world, which both of these people are doing. And uh, let the other people just fucking sit back and fucking point and laugh while they're fucking eat baking banana bread and like making like 500 bucks or a fucking week or some shit. So anyways, yeah, I thought that was going to be really interesting because I know, like, again, <laughs> that these are the people that would have been considered failures in school, and these are the people that are legitimate, proper, actual successes in, in IRL life. So, again, hopefully you guys and girls enjoyed that. If you did, do help me out with a like, comment, share, subscribe, so on and so forth with the YouTube algorithm, and I shall see you all next time.